season two of Saving Hope premieres tonight at 10 p.m. on CTV. It's a great show. And earlier this month, actors Erica Durant and her husband, David Palfi, gave us an exclusive tour of their West Vancouver home. Can't wait to see it. I haven't seen it either. Let's watch. Hi, Marilyn. For the last couple of years, we have been building our home. Building and designing. Yes, building and designing our home high in the hills above West Vancouver, British Columbia, and we wanted to share it with you and your viewers today. So why don't you all come on in? Now this house is an eclectic mix of everything my wife loves. And demand to have. So where should we start? Upstairs. In the bedroom. Always. <laughs> So here we are in the bedroom. This is a refuge for me and for David, of course. One of the most beautiful things about this area for me is the blend of the color coming in. I find it very peaceful and restful, and I often spend many a night here. In this Sitting in this chair. chair. That's a reading, reading chair. Reading my Jane Austen books. And we have the fire on, and David and I spend a lot of our time um, talking about the day. So what I did is uh, made a coffered ceiling and it has a number of profiles. It's got a little Edwardian gray in the ceiling as well as in the wall. A little Victorian lighting here, which adds to the ambiance. And once these blinds open up, we see the ocean. So at night, it's very romantic. <laughs> and that's the key. <laughs> now, every place of refuge needs a wonderful ensuite. We went with the darker blue here. You can see the wonderful Victorian pendant. We went with a bit of marble in here, the Carrera floors, the statural countertops, and a little bit of a traditional uh, cabinetry with the Queen Anne legs. You also you... added that extra vanity for me, which was nice. Absolutely. <laughs> we have to have two vanities, okay, yeah. for Erica, and sometimes she uses them both. It's true. I'm just a big mess of all my stuff. Now this is the main room, and we love this room. It has a grand flow. It goes from the living room to the dining room, to the kitchen. To the kitchen. To outside. The garden. So the wonderful thing about this room is that we try to delineate the sections of the room not by a wall, but by the creation of these arches. It keeps the space open, but it yet it gives that kind of classical grand sensibility. This okay? is our entertainment area. And one thing about this grand room is the millwork, starting with the fireplace. When you look at the floor, we decided to go dark with the floor, which warms the room up and gives it a flow. The Dutch oak has a very deep grain in it, and when it's hit by the natural light, it has character. It's very much alive, like my wife. Yes. Lilies are some of Erica's favorite flowers. I demand that there's a fresh bouquet of them every morning. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Here's our kitchen. It's big, it's expansive, but it's a nice mixture of practical design and usage. Everything has its place, including the Sub-Zero fridge. It is hidden by a panel. Now we love this island. It's engineered stone, and engineered stone is eco-friendly. And it's surrounded by the dark granite black countertops, which Erica loves. And not only that, it took six guys to get this in, and I was impressed. Okay, so here we are in our outside oasis on a beautiful sunny Vancouver day. From where I'm sitting right here, I can look out over our pool, and it's so wonderful and beautiful. And then, of course, David always puts in palm trees. Mm -hmm. And it looks beautiful, whether it's in the sun or when it's raining. Same thing with the furniture. It's kind of like that furniture we saw when we were in Hawaii. Exactly. And I liked it. We're always stealing ideas. <laughs> Marilyn, I hope you enjoyed the tour of our home and that you love it as much as we do. I guess, sweetheart, it's time to say goodbye. perfect couple you've ever met. Please welcome Savings Hope, er, Saving Hopes rather, Erica Durant. Here she comes. Woo! Have a seat, everybody. I, I don't know where to start, uh, except for, gosh, you two look like you're so much in love. And, and I have to say, how many years together now? Twelve. Unbelievable. Yeah. Fantastic. What a great guy he is. What's your favorite room? The kitchen is. Yeah. Ironically, I don't cook very much. He also cooks. But it's just, it's that, it's very warm and homey, and my son does his homework in there, and then we watch TV, and we watch basketball yeah. games, and it's just Do you have a lot nice. of people over there? Do you have people to come over? Yeah, we do. Have we have a lot of family. Yeah. 
like all our holidays and everything like that, all the family comes there. Right. And we try to create that. The best party is always in the kitchen anyway, right? It, is. it really is. It always happens like that when you yeah. have a party because people feel uncomfortable going to sit down in the formal living room, which is ironic because everybody right. has them. Right. But right. Uh, they just kind of stand awkwardly around the island for a while and then you just move it in there. And yeah. You know, it's interesting because I, I looked at, I love the way uh, uh, the, the decor and the coffered ceiling. There's so much detail and, and you're almost minimalist in mm -hmm. a way. And I yeah. like that too because really when you open up the windows you see the ocean. You have, you know, you fill it with people. When it's yeah. not filled with people it's still comfortable. Yeah. So how much of a say did you have in it and how much of a say <laughs> did he have in it? Because this is where couples go horribly wrong. <laughs> and I want to know how that worked for you. Well, you know what What was great and I think that kept us in, in a really great relationship is that yes. uh, it's his baby. Like I, to me the idea of building a home, mm -hmm. like we found a lot, tore the house down, built a new home that's just over the top for me so last year when I was filming Saving Hope yes this was all him so he did everything most of the time people are assuming once it gets to all the colors and all that the, the woman steps in and says ta-da mm -hmm. and I'm mm -hmm. gonna do it and mm -hmm. and he just kept kind of mm -hmm creating a way in there and uh it's great it looks great a lot of the decor, the, the decor inspired by a lot of your travels as well yeah i understand you want to tell me about that yeah um we we always went to this ho hotel called the moana in hawaii and they have these huge massive pillars in the front and it's just this really grand thing so we have that in the back and we always have palm trees because we love the to feel that we're somewhere else especially in vancouver with all the rain mm -hmm. and and then within the inside again it's just various little hotels we've been to over in europe the door Chester and that sort of thing with the paneling but we've taken away a lot of the busy um, fabrics and stuff like that because right. we like that kind of more minimalistic. Well everybody, it, everything that's in there means something or it has a place. Mm -hmm. Who plays the piano? I do. Terribly. But I do. <laughs> do you get to the piano a lot? Because when it's there, you got to play it. I, you, know? you know, not as much as I should, but yeah. I'm trying to reteach myself. So I wait till all the guys have left the house, and, <laughs> and then, then I download a piece, you. and I plunk away, and the, good then for it's you. just me. Good for you. Okay, well, Saving Hope, big hit last summer. Congratulations on that. <laughs> and <laughs> why don't you recap where we left off after the first season, because tonight's a big night. So yes. tell me. Okay, so we left off with, of course, Charlie finally wakes up. and Your fiancé. Uh, yes, he's my fiancé, so Alex has been waiting and pining and being ever so faithful and loving. I sound bitter, don't I? <laughs> um, and then he finally wakes up to the realization that this thing that's been happening to him of being able to speak to people in the beyond or in limbo state is still part of his his world yes and so you find us in season two where we've been off together and we're coming back we're going to work there's of course a massive shooting and we're thrown back into the hospital and that part of our life keeps going but the the romantic side that's we're stumbling to try to keep it together and he's trying to figure out how to fit that world in and should he tell Alex shouldn't he so he's got Joel's this, around the corner yeah Joel <laughs> hello Joel so he's got this gift Yes. So whether he's operating or talking to somebody, he's got this gift. Yeah. Okay, let's take a sneak peek at tonight's season two premiere of Saving Hope. Here we go. Did I ever tell you, Dr. Harris, that someone once left me at the altar? That is awful. And I hope he spends the rest of his life making it up to you. Me too. Same thing. Here you have this beautiful home in Vancouver, and you shoot in Toronto. Yes. So that's not easy to do. That that kind of commute. Yeah, I you know I try to kind of go back and forth every few weekends to see my son and that sort of thing. But it, it's it's just almost too long. You know, it's that four and a half hour, five hour. I know, I know, but, I know. But, but when I get there and I get beautiful. in the house and I shut the door. Oh, what do you now? You've played a lot of different roles in your life. What do you, what do you love about your role in Saving Hope? What do you love about that? Hmm. Well, again, I always love the, the the things that are different, and she gets to do all sorts of different things in it. As right. She's a doctor this time, and so I'm, I'm kind of living in that world. And and the the whole fine balance of how do you work with people that way? How, how are you compassionate and tell them those things that you need to tell them yeah. without, as a civilian, we always over-identify. And so trying to find that balance of of how do you how do you walk that wire and, and deal with people. Now, being a former Lois Lane, 
Yes. Okay, and that was very oh, good I knew too. Was coming. Oh, no. <laughs> I have to ask you, did you go see the new Superman movie? I did. Movie? What, what did. There you are. What did you think, oh, what did you think of it? What did you think of it? I had a great time. Yeah? I loved it. I thought they did a very good job. Not that, you know, my peanut calorie kind of. I, idea of it, I don't, it's my opinion, but I thought it was really, really good. Good, because I'd ask, I'm going to ask a lo former Lois Lane how she thought about the new Superman. I liked it. Oh, awesome, awesome. Season two of Saving Hope premieres tonight on CTV at 10 p.m. Thank you so much Thank for letting you. us into your home and to meet your wonderful husband and awesome stuff. Come back and see us, okay? Okay, let's take a break. We'll be right back. All right.